India has now reached an unprecedented milestone of 100 medals at the ongoing Asian Games this year. This is in fact the very first time in history that India has achieved this remarkable feat. This achievement in fact comes after India's women's Kabaddi team clinched the gold medal in the women's event at the 19th Asian Games in Hangzhou in China. Many congratulatory messages are in fact pouring in. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has also hailed India's accomplishment and has called it a momentous achievement. Meanwhile, let's listen into what Union Sports Minister Anurag Thakur has to say on this matter. Medals ki bachar, is bar saw par. Main mare sabhi khiladiyon ko athletes ko 140 crore bhartiyon ki or se bahut bahut badhai aur shubhkamnaye deta hu. Aapne vartman aur bhavishya ke khiladiyon ke liye एक नई प्रेरणा दी है और चीन में जब जब गोल्ड जीता तब तिरंगा शान से लहराया है और सौवा मेडल किसी और गेम में नहीं भारत की कबड्डी टीम ने जिताया है एशियन गेम्स के बहत्तर साल के इतिहास में इस बार हमारे एथलीट्स ने कई विश्व रिकॉर्ड तोड़े और बहुत सारे एशियन रिकॉर्ड्स बनाए भी अगर मैं कहूँ तो एथलेटिक्स में उनतीस मेडल शूटिंग में बाईस मेडल आर्चरी में नौ मेडल और इसके साथ पहली बार सौ मेडल पार किया है प्रधानमंत्री जी की सोच और उनके द्वारा दी गई सुविधाएं और हमारे खिलाड़ियों की मेहनत और उनका दृढ़ संकल्प इसने सुनिश्चित किया कि भारत सौ का सपना साकार करे has in fact achieved its dream and its vision of winning and bagging of 100 medals this time at the Asian Games. Meanwhile, joining me on the broadcast to discuss more is Mr. Sunil Yashkara, founder of Indian Sports Fan. Good morning and thank you for joining us on NewsX as we celebrate and hail the hard work and perseverance of all our athletes who have brought laurels back to the country. A milestone, of course, for India. How do you view this? as etching uh, India's of sporting future. It's a historic moment, uh, Pia, in the history of Indian sports. You can't get a bigger, uh, bigger platform than this. Remember, 1951, the Asian Games actually originated out of India. The first edition happened here. And since then, we've been languishing at, at 10, 11 or 12. But right now, what has happened? Now we are looking at uh, perhaps the top three position right now we are at number four but where did you think that we could get 25 gold in asian games it didn't even um, occur a uh, couple of editions ago but right now when you look at this sport that has uh, done india proud and you must realize that these are new sports different sports not just the traditional sports and the icing on the cake is kabaddi that was introduced in indian asian games 1982 in delhi and now India gets a gold medal. So, hats off to that. Yes, uh, but it's not just Kabaddi. In fact, we've again uh, made our mark as far as hockey is concerned. We won, uh, our men's hockey team won 5-1 against Japan, who are in fact the defending champions. So, And we've also, in fact, uh, booked our ticket to the Olympics, to the Paris Olympics directly as far as hockey is concerned. Uh, but as I was discussing with you earlier in the morning, uh, there were other sports. And as you just mentioned right now, squash, be it bridge, be it uh, rowing or race walk, India is making a mark in these different fields now um, you know this is something that you've been mentioning consistently over the course of uh, your um, sessions also that you hold and the people that you talk to that this is not something that happens overnight it's hard work and years of perseverance that brings our athlete to uh, achieve this sort of success so how far do you think uh, the government's backing as far as funding and boosting the morale of our players has played a key role in achieving this well, if you look at the planning, it has been 100% bang on target. You've got something very important called the top scheme in the Sports Authority of India. I think credit where it, let's give credit where it's due. It's Sports Authority of India's top scheme that has been pushing the uh, thing consistently, irrespective of the officials change, people change and the players change. They have consistently nurtured and I say the word nurtured with, with great responsibility that they've nurtured and they've created a pipeline of talent. Just imagine for badminton you thought after Saina and uh, Sindhu 
things were over but that's not the case you still have indians be beating and uh, dominating you thought after gagan narang and abhinav bindra shooting was off but you see right now the the age limit of these guys are much below 25 so the talent pool is immense you still have players uh, coming up and and giving the top players uh, a run for the money in the pool which means that it's a healthy side also the third and the most important factor is that we've got newer sports i mean the bridge the sailing the rowing the sepak takraw kind of things where did you even think of uh, playing in my life i've i've never seen a session of sepak takraw but here you go out you win a medal so i mean these are the important factors but the most important part is the talent grooming the talent funding the talent channelization is very important and that what this uh, sports ministry the government of the day is doing for the past 10 years and hats off to them indeed as you mentioned there's a lot of uh, young budding talented athletes that are now coming up and they're also making their mark um how does this affect india's prospects as far as our olympic uh, uh is concerned because of course now we've um back the 100 medal at the yes. asian games this is of course a precursor to the olympics that are slated to be held in about 2 years in 2024 in paris so uh, do you think india is on the road to becoming an olympics giant in the future olympics giant yes and uh, just a little correction in in about less than a year india goes and plays at the paris olympics yes we we will improve our tally but again you must realize that from the hangover of the commonwealth games which was inconsistently insignificant you're moving towards the world champions and the world beaters and what do you have you have people like um, Uh, you've got Nikhat Zareens you've got the Neeraj Chopras of the world you've got the hockey team which is a bronze medalist in the previous edition so again winning a world uh, winning a gold here is not too much of a uh, thing it was given it was expected from them to be at the top 2 and they've done that you must also realize that india is getting very uh, serious about the archery and the shooting part because that's where the medals come in in the previous edition unfortunately india couldn't make it big but somehow they are there now the important part here is we've got to also realize that indian uh, talent pool is emerging so what they're doing is they're giving run for the money to the guy who's at the top so if you have that kind of healthy competition i think that's where the 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 success lies and that's where india is moving towards for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon